In today's video, we're going to be doing a quick video, or we're going to be doing a blast from the past, talking about the three primary tools and brands that took Sweden from being known as IKEA to actually a really solid country for making great bushcrafting tools. So, without any further ado, let's jump into this. Okay guys, so the first one we have is an amalgamation of Wetterlings and Grand Forest Brooks. It's hard to really say which one exactly per se, though Wetterlings probably piqued the interest in the long term now that Wetterlings is gone. GBA is the best representative because it was there at the time when this, when bushcrafting especially, these Swedish companies were really picking up in notoriety. So. For this one, we're going to be looking at the Grand Forest Brooks Scandinavian Forest Axe, or whatever they call it nowadays. These things have gone over a few name changes, and I think the reason why this really set the edge for Sweden, or gave Sweden the advantage, is here in America we are so used to our cheaply made, highly mass produced council tools, axes that you could go down to the to any general store and get them for 30, 40 bucks, where the Grants Forest Brooks was the first handmade, handcrafted axe, really high quality tool. So this really set the tone, and though it was a very expensive axe at the time, or a very expensive tool, because it was over double what we were normally used to paying, this axe really set the bar high for what American tools would later have to become. So. While this axe in particular, the Scandinavian Forest Axe, wasn't the most popular one in use for bushcrafters, this brand was certainly one that set Sweden up high. Okay, that's a little bit better placement. So now we're going to talk about the Mora. Now, once again, this is not the perfect Mora, or maybe not the exact one that caught on, though I do think this was the first one of the Mora kind of Sweden bushcrafting knives, the Mora Clipper that caught on. So the Mora, between the Mora Clipper and the Mora Companion, these two knives were what sparked the fire for an extraordinarily affordable, but yet extraordinarily high made well-made and very well-liked, very well-loved knife by bushcrafters the world over. And now, even in America, especially Battle Horse, has made their own very high-quality version of this type of knife with the same essential designs, just made out of better materials. However, this design and the cost at which the clipper slash companion could be got at was what really set this knife apart from what you could get here because at the time when these were coming out a lot of what you got here especially for cheaper had really crappy stainless steels had really inexpensive build quality whereas this knife even though it is a rat tail tang could still take an enormous amount of abuse tiny but still yet very amazing Baco laplander i think this was the last tool to really just do it in for the knife the saw and the axe the three tools that bushcrafters would come to value the most the Baco Laplander was where it was at. It was tiny, it was lightweight, but yet the way they designed the teeth in classic Baco fashion performed so well that it kind of outclassed its class in being such a small saw. And once again, American companies like Gerber tried to knock it off, but really failed because the teeth and the design were so purely were so purely or so purely Swedish that they really did a great job. So this has been the three tools, the knife, the saw, and the axe, the most important things to the bushcrafter that Sweden not only learned to master, but Americans to shame for. So anyways guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this quick video and there will be a lot more to come with these three tools. I'm really digging them. I really dig all three of them. They are amazing. I've had most of them for years. I actually just got the Baco, but this thing I knew was going to be awesome from the moment I got it. So anyways, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this really awesome video. Kind of a blast from past, a blast from the past, and kind of explaining what really set these tools in particular on top of the game. Anyways, guys, that's all for now. God bless, and I'm out.